Stereotype of Asians They are cerebral and don't work in production. Historical Fact The top Asian groups came to America to satisfy physical labor shortages in railroad building, lumber mills, and manufacturing. From 1863 to 1869, when Central Pacific Railroad was completed, 20,000 Chinese worked to build the Transcontinental Railroad. Few whites signed up for dangerous railroad work, so Chinese did this work because they were unafraid. Central Pacific Construction Supervisor James Strobridge did not think the Chinese were strong enough and they lacked the brain power to perform the work as well. Eventually, Chinese made up 90% of the Central Pacific workforce. The Immigration Act of 1917 limited access to the U.S. for Chinese, Indian, and Filipino people. The 1917 Asian exclusions did not apply to government officers, ministers or religious teachers, missionaries, lawyers, physicians, chemists, civil engineers, teachers, students, authors, artists, merchants, and travelers for curiosity or pleasure. Chinese make up 25% of Asians, followed by Indians 22.5%, Filipinos 20%, Vietnamese 10.8%, Korean 9.5%, and Japanese 7.5%. Indians, mainly Punjabi Sikhs, came to Washington, Oregon, and California from British Columbia. Shipping companies brought them to work in the lumber mills. While Filipinos had a settlement in Louisiana in 1763, they migrated en masse to America after the Spanish-American War of 1898.